In the Chicago suburbs of Plainfield, Illinois, 37-year-old mom Lisa Stebick reportedly heads out for a routine jog and hasn't been seen since. The Plainfield woman who worked as a lunch lady at her children's school was last seen at about 6 p.m. on April 30th by her husband, Craig. She was in the home they shared, though the two were in the process of a divorce. Friends and family believe something is very wrong, saying the devoted mother of two popular in the community would not leave her 10-year-old and 12-year-old behind. Family and friends numbering close to 100 gathered at a prayer vigil. Husband Craig attended the vigil with the couple's son and daughter. A multi-law enforcement team, including Plainfield Police, Forest Preserve officers, and the fire department, search nearby Lake Renwick and the shoreline for clues. We're very, very concerned about Lisa's whereabouts. We miss her. We're, we're, we're longing for her, and we need her back. When I first began investigating the disappearance of 37-year-old mother of two, Lisa Stebick, what jumped out at me was behavioral evidence. Behavioral evidence, uh, as I define it, is the demeanor of either the victim or the possible perpetrator, the timeline, habits, quirks, routine, and how all of those things did not fit neatly together in the disappearance of Lisa Stebbick. Lisa is a lovely young mother of two children, Zach, 10, Lexi, 12, at the time she went missing. Lisa is a devoted mother of two children, 12 and 10. Lisa worked at a cafeteria at a school so that she could be home for her children every day after school. These children have been without their mother now for over a week. And the entire family is anguished and we're asking for your help. We're asking for the public's help in bringing Lisa home safe to us. For one thing, Lisa Stabick had totally turned her life around. She had just lost between 30 and 40 pounds. She had completely reinvigorated herself, devoted herself to healthy living for her and her family. Uh, Lisa was getting her life together. She was moving on through this divorce. She talked about her children and the, the just the positive strides that she was making and that she was she was just getting on, and, and, and we had wonderful, wonderful conversation. On April 30th, 2007, around 6 o'clock, that's the last time that Lisa Stebick is seen. Now, she's at the time living in the same home with her husband, but they're in the midst of a divorce. And at that time, 6 o'clock, the husband says he was in the backyard doing some work. The two children had left the house to go down to the candy store down at the corner to buy some candy. Now, the husband says he, he hears Lisa uh, inside the house, and he thinks that she's leaving because it's around the time that she usually goes to work out. So investigators find no keys, no purse, but her car is still in the garage. She worked her normal shift at Lincoln Elementary School in Plainfield and left there sometime between 2 and 2.30 p.m. last Monday afternoon, April 30th. I believe the children came home and saw her there after school. Her husband, Craig, says he saw her leave at 6 to 6.30 p.m. Now, unless you were going to step out the door and go jogging or for a walk, that doesn't make sense because if she were driving to the workout club, she would have taken her cell phone in her pocketbook with her driver's license and her credit cards and money in it. But she did, that didn't make sense. If she had stepped out of the house to go jogging or walking, would she have done that with her pocketbook draped on her shoulder? No. So why was her pocketbook and her cell phone missing. 
And if she were going to the workout club, she would have driven her car. So all of this is completely inconsistent. It was Monday. She uh, left home here, supposedly to go work out. And uh, as far as I know, somebody picked her up and uh, come Tuesday morning to go to work, she wasn't here. She would never have voluntarily left behind her two children, a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old, a boy and a girl. Many of the people detectives have interviewed have stressed Lisa's love for her children and have insisted that Lisa would not have left home without them. In the last several months, there have been no activity on her cell phone, credit cards, or her checking account. As a result, everything learned in this investigation, detectives are now focusing on the scenario that she most likely is a victim of foul play. The search for missing mom, Lisa Stebbick, was extensive. It covered five different states. It involved police searching, volunteers searching, divers diving into retention ponds and searching, people on foot and on bikes looking in open areas in jogging paths. A very detailed search was done in the park across the street from the Stebbick home where Lisa Stebbick would often jog. We were told by the uh, Plainfield Police Department just looking for any type of item, any types of clothing, uh, possibly purses, um, any uh, cell phones, any type of anything. We were just looking for anything that would be out of the ordinary and not be here. A full-scale search of the entire community and even areas outlying the community. It's going to involve uh, ground forces, ground search and rescue teams. It's going to involve public safety officials. And it's also going to involve any volunteers that uh, may show up tomorrow to assist in the search. We're going to be utilizing ATVs. Uh, we're going to be utilizing uh, dogs if the, if the uh, situation dictates. Um, and basically what we're going to try to do is cover any area uh, uh, that may be heavily uh, covered in brush, uh, open field areas, any uh, ditches, waterways that uh, haven't been searched already and basically just trying to cover as much area as we can with the uh, amount of people we have show up. It's been five years and Lisa Stebbick still has not been found. Uh, investigators have kept it as an open case but at this point uh, becoming much more difficult you know in this search for her. Now they haven't found her there were uh, several false alarms where bodies were recovered in the general area, but turned out to not be Lisa Stebbick. So at this point, this is an open investigation, and the search continues.